Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and um, I uh, completely forgot that I could have videoed this, but I've just been doing some pruning, it's uh, it's in the evening after coming back from work, and the bottle brush pretty much finished flowering, and I've decided to cut it back really hard. Um, it might seem very harsh, but it was really overgrowing my pineapple guava. Um, this is my... This is the one triumph and as you can see the plant has sort of been forced to grow out towards the light all over the lawn and I've got no growth hardly at the back of the plant. There's just a few spindly shoots there which have actually had flowers on them so I thought what would be best to do is cut the bottle brush back hard in the hope that some of this... Uh, some of this growth here would branch out a bit thicker and that we might get some uh, might possibly get some fruit set and fruit on the branches at the back as well as the ones at the front so um, we've opened up the uh, board there and put a lot more light in I've cut the bottle brush back very hard but to be honest I think it's quite likely it'll put out a load more growth probably later in the summer probably from all the way through August and September and I still think I'll get flowers on it next year I don't think it'll um, completely destroy the flowers but to be honest the uh, the bottle brush is there for colour and I do like them but the pineapple guava is a little bit more important because the idea is to attempt to get edible fruit off it after all taste one of these flowers flower petals edible but not overwhelming some people rave about them they don't do a lot for me anyway that was a quick tidy up of the uh, bottle brush thought I'd show that I meant to do it beforehand but no real need uh, thought you'd just appreciate seeing what I'm doing to make the pineapple guavas get a bit more light um, thanks for watching the video please remember to give me a thumbs up you can share it with anyone who thinks interested obviously please uh, subscribe to my channel and remember to click the bell if you'd like updates on all of my subtropicals and tropicals and uh, yeah, you can see all these bare stems there hopefully we'll uh, get some branching out but I'm probably going to cut this pineapple guava back fairly hard next year because um, it did it has caused the other one to uh, grow very very vigorously and flower so I don't think it'll do any harm to cut this one back anyway so catch up with you on the next video Brett out for now